we're back! In this episode, we will try to explain the difference between graffiti and street art, as well as we will visit a spot where a massive battle between these two movements took place. And we will wander around count them, trying to feel Amy Winehouse's presence. The name became famous when Cameron gave one of its paintings to Obama and he also ended up working for Louis Vuitton. If you look closely to the letters behind me, you can actually read the sentence Sell the house, the kids, the wife, it's bonus time. And of course, it was made in 2008 at the peak of the financial crisis. Ben Ayn is the finest painter of fonts and letters. Now a question for you. Do you think this one is graffiti or is a piece of street art? To answer this question, we will need to move to another location. And look at the way they treat you today Now live your life And love and now let be We are in Camden, Regent's Canal and this is one of the most important spots for the war between graffiti and street art. For 25 years, that wall over there hosted a, a major mural by King Robo, probably the most famous London graffiti writers in the 80s and the 90s. In 2009, Bansky entered the stage and painted over the original graffiti. That was like a declaration of war. According to the legend, King Robo and a young Bansky years before had an argument and a fight in a pub in Old Street. For the next two years, the two artists, helped by their respective crews, started a war painting over and over each other's work, not only here, but all around London. It was a battle of huge creativity and sense of humor, although it was also led by anger and sense of revenge. It ended up in tragedy in 2011 when King Robo suffered a fatal accident, went into coma and died three years later. Banksy painted over here a uh, rest in peace graffiti to commemorate his opponent. Today what we can see is this graffiti which replicates the original King Robo signature and was done probably by a member of his crew. Now, what's the difference between street art and graffiti? Sometimes the first are referred to be legal, while the second street art is legal. But I don't think that that marks the difference. It's always difficult to categorize, but I think that it comes to one main difference. Graffiti are not meant to be for the general public. They are about letters, they are about fonts, brought to the finest artists, but they are not for me and you, they are for other writers and other crews. Street art, on the other hand, is meant to impress everyone, by making the city more beautiful, by making us laugh, by making a political or a social message, the audience is the general public. It's for everyone. Now, categorizing and making the difference between graffiti and street art fails to look at what was the historical evolution of them. Ultimately, street art developed out from the graffiti movement in the 80s and the 90s. Vandalizing a wall with a spray can was a way to say fuck you to the society, essentially, back then. Vandalism with times evolved in the entire graffiti movement. When we look at the tags, an ugly tag stretching our wall, we should remember that from there it comes the entire street art that we can see today. If you come to Camden, you will probably notice that street art is mostly concentrated on the high street, near the market. There are organizations that help the artists by finding permission on their behalf. On the other hand, the graffitis can be found here on the Regent's Canal, probably because it's easier for the graffiti writers to hide in the dark overnight. Amy Winehouse is one of the favorite subject portrayed by many artists here in Camden and behind me there is an example made by Otto Schade which is actually one of my favorite.
So we are back where we started this episode. And the question at the beginning was, was Benane an artist or a graffiti writer? And probably the answer, as you figure out in this episode, you may already know. It's both. It started as a graffiti writer, and hence the letters and poems, but it's now like a more street art, because obviously the message and his audience is the general public right now. In the next episode, we're going to Dalston to see one of the oldest pieces of street art. And we will talk about the impact on the urban environment as well as gentrification. And we're going to talk a bit about animals as well. So if you want to see the next chapter, subscribe below unless you did it already. And please keep sending us any questions. And we will reply to all of them. <laughs>